Greetings and good day, YouTube and Twitch highlight watchers. How are you doing today? Uh, I myself am pretty excited because today we're we've already finished Peace Walker, but I just kind of felt like dealing with some Metal Gear Solid 2 today. Normally we would be starting the next installment of the Metal Gear series, be it Ground Zero right now. But I'm basically waiting for some money to transfer to my PayPal account so I could actually get the games. It's taken longer than 12 hours or whatever. It's one of those stupid things where it's like, oh, it could take two days, hopefully tomorrow. Or at the stream tonight, I'll check it. But regardless, when I wake up in the morning, it'll be set through. And I'll be able to get the game and we'll start tomorrow with Ground Zeroes. If not, we'll probably play more of this. What we're going to be doing today is we're just going to be going through and trying to get ourselves uh, dog tags. We're going for dog tags today. All right, and we're going to start with very easy and go from there. This ain't really going to be, maybe we'll spend the time and beat this game tonight. Who knows? I am going to skip story stuff, and we're going to be talking about this game Bad and River. Uh, Metal Gear Solid and stuff like that. I'll try not to s talk about the games that come after this, this snake. Do you but bear in mind if I do spoil anything. The mission objective. I apologize in all advance. Right, let's look at your gear. But then again, I say that and I'm skipping all the all of the story, right? What's really funny is in we need to get a fix on the tanker part of this, right? There's a couple of codec calls that you can get that are pretty humorous regarding interactivity between like uh I need to get the controls in my head again. Because holy shit. Anyways, stop kidding around. Snake? Snake! Anyway, since I'm skipping the story and stuff like that, you probably should already know what the story is at this point. If you don't, I've got some videos in the playlist that this is associated with. But yeah, each one of these, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. This is rough. After dealing with uh, Peace Walker for as long as I have, getting this in my mind... I'm, I'm glad I'm doing this, actually, because this will get me used to the controls for tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow. But yeah, what a... Hell of an experience. Do you turn around now or later? Okay, good. Freeze. Move! But yeah, I don't think we have to worry too much about some of these individuals. Freeze. Huh? Don't kill. Oh. 
So it's kind of funny how associated this is with Metal Gear, right? Or Metal Gear Solid, I should say, not really Metal Gear. Because right off the rip, I mean, you don't know this right off the rip, but you find out eventually that the individual that's taking this area over is Galukovich and Ocelot, right? And it's funny to me that, like, they had so much stuff pre-planned, you know what I mean? Where they didn't have to worry about, like, oh, uh... Having a villain or something like that, right? Because they have Ocelot. Ocelot would have been a perfect example. But they mentioned Glukovich. Freeze. Right? And that made it to where they had a, uh, a segue. All the stuff with the Patriots and stuff like that, none of it was really talked about. In Metal Gear Solid, right? There's, there could, you could look at some of the things as there being hints, but I think a lot of the thing was that they added the Patriots to these games so they could, can, well, so that they would have a fallback option, right? So like, say if they ever decided to get rid of Ocelot permanently or certain characters permanently, they would have a, a, a secret organization that they could put any face or voice to, you know? make it to where they don't have a difficult time coming up with a villain or something like that. Freeze. Huh? Don't kill me. I'm pretty sure they don't or it takes an actual long time for them to uh, wake back up. <clears throat> I'm not doing any codec calls like I normally do. I'm just kind of just playing the game because I'm in one of those uh, modes today where I'm just tired. I barely got any sleep yesterday. Going to shoot me? It's the enemy. I need. Oh. Huh. What's going on? Respond. We lost contact with Deck A. Back of unit. Check it out. Hopefully we'll be fine. Freeze. <gasps> Let's get... I remember where to go. Let's get the UPS. On this difficulty, it doesn't move. But 
But yeah, there's something that, there's a couple things like, of course they have references back to the previous game when you play this one. Which is always cool when they have references. But it's even better when they don't just have references, but they have full-on pieces of lore and information that are like, hey, this is this is Ocelot. This is these individuals that are associated with Glukovich. This is Glukovich's man. This is that. This is this. You know? I cannot believe that this game on, on Extreme is the way that it is. Like, holy shit. I watched the GDQ run recently. I think it was recently. Where somebody did European Extreme. And that's probably our death. Oh my god. I've been with, with the unit, unit since, since I was born. born. I grew I up on the battlefield. battlefield. Oh, and and victory, victory were my parents. The unit is my oh! We've shared everything. All the bad and all the good. I have no one. Nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. Wait. Oh my god, the Trank Dart is slowly knocking her out over time. Whoever you are, I've never played this game on very us. easy. The flinch. It's the flinch that pisses me off, man. Wow. Wow, I cannot believe that there's the extreme difficulty of this fight is fucking insane. I have no idea how I'm ever gonna do this at some point on big boss difficulty. Or big boss it basically. funny because you really don't need the thermals at least not for this one freeze you say okay good i was gonna be like do you say don't do it or if you're going to shoot me then shoot you drop UPS? The USB ammo? Doesn't look like it. I'm basically just gonna go through the game and if I miss any dog tags, then oh well, we miss dog tags. If not... Like, if we miss dog tags, that sucks. If we don't miss dog tags, that's fine. wait for him to go all the way through here and then turn around, you know what I mean? Freeze. Huh? Don't kill me.
I'm gonna move him to a position where he's not gonna get spotted when somebody inevitably comes up and goes to take his nap. If they take the nap in that area. You gotta wonder, now in all honesty, thinking about it, you have to wonder how some of these people died the way that they did because is he shot? It looks like his throat's cut. Damn it, I understand. That dude, not so much because they would have had to come in this way and this way. And that dude would have seen both of them. You know what I mean? So it's a little confuddling. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a little confuddling as to why... They are doing what they're doing, you know what I mean? Or not, they are the dead the way that they are dead. Are you going to shoot me? fairly linear this game is like we don't have to worry about too much or at least this part I like how fairly linear this part is I'm pretty sure we already got the freeze yeah. I want to go down and make sure we're not missing anybody. Eh, we'll probably be fine. Look up how to change render mode again. Don't kill me. It's all the way on the opposite end. My brain was like, I'm supposed to go in that way. No, no, I am not. Hey, greetings and good day, Copo. How are you today? I'm doing well, just chilling. 
going through on the easiest difficulty uh, of a game that we played recently because basically waiting for PayPal money to go through so I can get uh, Ground oh, Zeroes, shoot. Ground Zeroes and Peace Walker. And then we'll be probably playing that tomorrow or the day after, depending on how long it takes for PayPal to get their shit together. Also, I'm playing this to try and get used to the damn controls again. Because I'm fairly certain they're not the same controls when it comes to Ground Zeroes and Peace Walker. Uh, not Peace Walker. Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. They're not the same controls, but I'm hoping that uh, this will get me familiarized with the other controls for Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. That, and I like this game. But yeah, we finished up Peace Walker yesterday. I'm pretty sure you were there for that. I know there is a way to get those guys to wake back up. I didn't expect him to turn around like he did. Happens sometimes basically long story short we uh we wrapped up with uh peace walker i'm confused about why that happened the way that it did oh well we're missing we're missing that individual's dog tag now freeze Move. please don't I could probably just go through and try and beat the game as fast as possible. But eh. Freeze. Last night, I pretty much laid in my bed for like five hours, and before I got, I went to bed at like 6:37 a.m. So I'm pretty Repair tired. The entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol in the small room on the port side. Freeze! <laughs> Don't shoot! But yeah, the falling asleep on stream happens sometimes. Yeah, I think they just stay asleep indefinitely. On very easy. And it looks like if you take their dog tags, they disappear. If they're not scripted.
Is there a way to wake these assholes up? I know there's a way to wake any of them up on the tanker missions. Maybe if I stun grenade him. Let's experience a little bit. Ugh. I know a lot of people that will put on a stream. Like hell, I do this sometimes too. Either I'll put something up on my TV or I'll put a stream up on my tablet or something like that and just watch it and then I'll slowly go to sleep. I've gotten completely turned around. So I'm assuming it's pretty late where you're at. I do, I do... Try to be consistent with the time that I stream. So... Oh, he's almost up. Did that knock out the dude on the other room? if they're in the locker. I'm like trying multiple different things. I hope this is the person that I need to get the dog tag from because if it's not, we're screwed. I'm, I've never seen somebody wake up from the locker room, so I'm really curious about this. in the area. General alert to all personnel. Maybe this was a good thing? I don't know, I'm experimenting. I've, I've, I've done a lot of stuff like this in the past, but it's been a long time since I've done this kind of stuff. I will say, I will say, I am pretty excited because I don't think he wakes up. saying uh i probably should have waited i got too impatient oh well i lost my train of thought i don't know i'm gonna blame that on me being tired
But yeah, these games are, are pretty fun to chill in on days like today. I'm a little bit disappointed that I wasn't able to start Ground Zeroes today. Oh, this is what I was going to say. So, today I was just chilling, right? And I felt the itch. I felt the itch to play none other than XCOM 2. So, starting next month. Starting next month, I'm going to start working on modding XCOM 2, and I'll probably end up playing that at some point in the future. Because I, XCOM 2 is, is a favorite of mine, right? It's a game that I keep going back to, so on and so forth. And... Arizona Bridge checkpoint <clears throat> passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes time for the scheduled briefing session with the combat. I haven't played it for such a long time. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. Primarily because a couple months back, I had to reset my PC when an update corrupted and I lost all the mods I had installed on XCOM 2 so I was like demotivated from playing it but I felt that itch to play it so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm going to uh, start modding it again right I got to change certain options and stuff like that. I got to retest the mods, all kinds of shit. So what I'm going to end up doing is, like I said, at the end of this month, I'm going to get back into what I'm calling... Freeze. Huh? Regularly scheduled programming. Don't kill me. Which is playing... Probably a Metal Gear game, since we're not technically done with the series yet. For a couple of hours. Four, three hours. Uh three four hours what have you and then switching over to something else freeze More. fucking idiot I hit him. I need some metal I was like close enough to where it should have. Should have let me freeze. Freeze him. I'm upset about that. I'm glad in the later games they made it to where you could wake people up with a button prompt. Point 
Are you fucking kidding me? Just kill me. At this point, just fucking kill me. I fucked up. Essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. Anyways. But yeah, I've been basically waiting for that moment where I finally feel the itch to play X, comma 2 uh, again before finally, like, forcing myself to play it or whatever. Because I don't... I, I never want to force myself to play a video game. Right? Because that'll just... Freeze. Be a bad time all the way around, you know? <laughs> like it'll make you burn out on the game and... Huh. Didn't quite realize that the checkpoint would keep the stuff like that. That's interesting to me. Well, I got his, so I'm not worried about it. Idiot. Freeze. No! Please don't. Whatever. If we miss any of these uh, dog tags, we'll be able to just see him later and go from there. I'm not concerned about it at all, in all honesty. I definitely like being able to look in first person a lot more than third person over the shoulder forced. So that's one of the biggest things. I'm just gonna be lethal on this one. I don't care. God, this part non lethally. Are you insane? Okay, so it's scripted that you can't go past a certain point in here. That's kind of dumb. Oh! I think there's a trick that they do to where they could lethal... Lethal the last three guys? But they do a certain thing that makes it to where it doesn't actually count them as lethal. Snake. Okay, so there's snake. a couple of Easter eggs that I missed in this area. One of them was there's a dude down there that's just in his underwear. If you take a picture of him, Otacon will laugh. Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand Other up for Metal Gear is, of course, another, another Metal, metal gear. gear. 
They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands of Metal Gear... With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained. And it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. There's the program that will add fuel you keep doing to the that. fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own Ray project. But I promise you that they will not succeed in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. And now it's stuck. Now... Are you ready? The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in now the military Now it's a cutscene. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of Ray. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more difficult. What's going on? Snake! Snake! I, keep, I was pressing X that entire time. Wow. With Ray. There's also another one. If not thousands of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. There's the program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own Ray project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. Mm. Again, this right Some here. Say that how he talked about they, they want to derail the project and they will not succeed. Well, you're wrong, com Commandant. I almost call them Commandant the Standards. The importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of Ray. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Freeze. <gasps> Not to mention interference from a major plane. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. <laughs> the enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. Actually, I'm going to do this one too. Good, good. We, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. This turned out to be longer than expected. At ease, rest a little.
Why do they all have shorts on? Wait, what? Getting back to the Oh, very easy, that's why. I have a daughter. And it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children. Experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. The National Missile Defense Program was initiated in the end of the 20th century, projected to completion in 2005. However, the NMD trial conducted in the year 2000 was a complete failure. And the success of the 1999 trials is now considered a chance happening. Must be tense. Let's do a little stretching, shall we? Left. There's another picture that I need to try and take. Front. Right. Down. Right. Down. Let's continue. There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation. Of the anti-ballistic missile agreement, the fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. President Sears forced the NMD proposal through and succeeded in deploying the program. Some say that it was a military interest with plans for the $100 billion program budget that actually arranged the legislative approval. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the Army's Rex, it can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected and make its landing on any shoreline. It's on board. Yeah, whatever. Or joint tactical information distribution system identifies targets with unerring accuracy and takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon. There's two pictures you can take, one of which is of the ghost of Kojima like that, and the other one is a picture of Ocelot. I think you need to, like, wait for the last couple of seconds before you can get a picture of Ocelot, and then Otacon will have a comment they'll make. So, any codec moments from you, Snake? Okay, first up... I'm gonna step away and get some food in a minute I'm here. I'm sorry, you need to take another one. I missed the picture. Okay, what am I seeing now? Think about what that means. The brain drain of nuclear specialists and the black market trade and weapons. Tony has been fueling a cottage industry in nuclear weapons since late last century. Add Metal Gear to the mix. The result is the renewed proliferation you see the world over. Good. One lived in the shadow of the Doomsday Machine. This Metal Gear Ray can bring other Metal Gears under control and ensure... Is that, this will be the end of the tanker. 
At least it should be. This is another funny one that I missed last time, I think. Okay, I'm receiving the images. The first image is... We don't need a shot from the front. You. Pretty good with the photographer. Oh. Serious, really, we need those pictures. What's next? Oh. They gotta be three different pictures, I guess. Oh, well, whatever. We, the Marines, will lead the charge Actually, into the I'll let this play while I step away. With Metal Gear Rain. It's a pretty good cutscene. That is I'm all. I'm back. I'm Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. And of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called... Revolver Ocelot. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no, I'm taking it back. Nobody move. Understood. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this get that, button. Get that there pizza and some of those ruffle chips. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. I'll probably be able to finish eating by the time of this is done. Taking my face cam off. We're almost at the target. Get a move on. What do you intend to do with Ray? Sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. The 
Yes, returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Lo. How's that possible? Ocelot, you have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Lukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! <laughs> Sergey, looks like you were long overdue for retirement. Traitor, stop! The attention to detail <clears throat> to these games has is insane. I only just noticed it. But if you look, like, if you pay Show's attention over. on the right hand if side, you to live, I suggest he's got you some now. sort of like queer looking, not that. This ship is still in the else. lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. It's been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so I'm running this through an emulator. Snake? That's why it looks a little weird. The way that You're they render certain time. things. I know what it's that's like, mine? brother. Yeah. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the fox type. F9 brother. changes render mode. <laughs> The price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm! Liquid on. <laughs> hey, greetings and good day, Yuri. How are you today? You changed your name! Right? Did you change your name? Okay, I thought so. I'm looking at him like some ain't right. That's that's new. Yeah. Uh, 
You hear that sound effect? That sound effect's like that because of the random mode that it's in. When it's in the other random mode, certain things look a little weird. But the uh, audio and stuff doesn't mess up like that as much with this emulator that I'm using. I don't know why it does, but whatever. Did you change it yesterday or today? Because I just noticed it now. Okay. Gotcha. You don't have what it takes after all. You're going down, Snake, with this tanker. In a moment. Snake! Yes, at the location we discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's newsflash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President.
There you go. I don't know how much longer we're going to be uh, playing this game tonight. We'll see, though. <clears throat> There's a part of me that's like, man, I feel like wrapping up now. But we'll probably go for a little bit in this section and then go from there. <clears throat> Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? This is where I'm going to start skipping the game. I was doing that, basically watching that, that cutscene play out because it's one of my it is one of my favorite cutscenes of this entire game. And this is I was eating, so I was giving myself the time to chow down. Far so this is something I the wanted to talk will... about in the very beginning, uh, but I really couldn't the first time I played this because I wanted to keep what I like to call a clean save. All right, this one, like I said, has spoilers in it. So, in Metal Gear Solid 1, you scuba dive into the secret area. Or not the secret area, you scuba dive into Shadow Moses, and then... I'm trying to remember how to do this. Then you go up the elevator, right? They did, they literally just copy and pasted that section right here. Is the thermal goggles not, I mean, we don't need the thermal goggles. There they are. This is the right render mode, right? No, it is not. Shit. Okay, we'll have to F9 it whenever we need the thermal goggles. So yeah, there's the M9 there. I thought there was, we get it very early. How the hell? I'm trying to think on how we do certain things, and I can't, for the life of me, I can't. Oh, also a little fun fact that I wanted to show up as well. So, this is, like I said, copy-pasted the Shadow Moses thing. Also. That's the explosive we need to take care of later down the line. On another thing I wanted to note is if you pay very close attention to... Oh shit, I need to let one of them play through because if you pay close attention to it, the kernel will sound off. Like certain things they say will sound too emphasized and stuff like that. Listen. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. 
Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. See? The These pause. estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map projected. according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. Field personnel you need reports. To get to the map How to the big shells node does to put this the kernel data processing to practical field use. Personnel reports the node unit of a is about terrorist three feet organization. High, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the How? node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Like, if you really start thinking about some of the things they say and the way that they say it, it it's like, obviously, it's like hindsight's 2020, and the first time you play through this game, your brain is like not focused on that stuff because you're like, okay, tutorial stuff, got it. But he's talking very robotically almost, right? Mentions certain things that don't make sense if. Oh, that's weird. That's weird that it saved all the information. That's really weird that it saved all the information like that. But it's New Game Plus, so it makes sense. Anyways, anyways. Good work, Ryden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. This is word for word. The big shell things that they said, Mei Ling said, after touching the start in button. How do Metal Gear Solid. Data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What the music change. Here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see. I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the We've field, learned you need all the help you can that get. That it doesn't work that Jack, way. You're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. 
The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something... So that's all I could basically handle. Uh, <clears throat> I think we'll get up on the elevator and go from there. I'm starting to get tired. Raiden. I wonder if there's a way to get the uh, dog tags on other difficulties. Shit. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader. The same shit. Is solid the snake. same shit from Metal Gear Solid 1 right here. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the. First. But yeah, I'm just having a chill time. I'm starting to get rapidly tired. You know, rapidly tired. Don't look at this as like a continue, like a right. Another playthrough, or whatever. This is probably gonna not. As long as I can play the game that I want to play tomorrow, I mean, I could do a check really quickly to see. When another cutscene happens, that's what I'll do. I'll go check that. Freeze. <gasps> Wait. We have the note already. That's weird. Oh yeah. Freeze. <gasps> oh, I'm glad I got that.
Right. I think there's only one guard here. Maybe I'm wrong though. done it but we'll wait We'll get to Stillman. Do that. Go to the CD connecting bridge. Cyborg Ninja. That's what this is supposed to be a reference to. Right? <clears throat> I was part. What about the president? What's up? He's Romanian. You mean the incident? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't think we have this I don't razor. Smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. All right. Take this too. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero. Currently at the bridge between Struts B and C. The president is. Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. We didn't Remember give him a razor. Frequency. It's one for all right. Weird that all this is active already. Yeah, whatever. Jack, do you remember? Kind of funny how short these games are when you take out the, uh, mind you. It's still a lengthy amount of time, right? Like, it took me 10 hours. Mind you, it was on extreme difficulty, but I knew how to beat the game. It took me 10 hours to beat Metal Gear Solid, right? I love how one of the bombs that's placed is placed on the Harrier. Like... The, the amount of C4 that's up there... Wouldn't do damage. Obviously, if you beat the game, you know why you fail the way that you do. If an explosive goes off.
Also, fun fact on new game, the C4 cutscenes Kid, this... not skippable, but on there are at least new game Let's... plus, it is skippable. Glad you... There's no need to think of that's not skippable. I know for a new game. Let's see how. So I can't help but show this one off because I missed it last time as well. The cardboard box. But yeah, you can see somebody in a cardboard box going across. Ah! Hilarious. I think I missed that last time, that, uh, not Easter egg, but, okay, so here's the trick. We say C for l second to lat, like, we, we start over here, right? We start over here. Or we do the B transformer room. And then go to A, F, so on and so forth, right? The last one we always have to do has got to be B. Freeze! Huh? Don't kill me. Oh. So yeah, now we can wake up any guard that we desire to wake up. Are you going to shoot me? <laughs> gonna kneecap your ass is what I'm gonna do. I wonder what a European Extreme all dog tags run looks like.
freeze, huh? Don't kill me. Playing on the easiest difficulty, trying to get as many dog tags, if not all the dog tags, as possible. I don't, don't care if I kill dog. anybody or not. Just going for dog tags. Freeze. <gasps> Are you going to shoot me? Actually, yes, I am. Probably beat this game tonight. Not going to though. I'm tired. Going a little bit longer than I actually thought I would. Oh, you got your dog tags. I love how if they wake up off screen that you don't get like everything's fine. I mean, I'm uh, you say that, but I don't know if I'll still be on by then. I do thank you for telling me though, Yuri. Hmm? Somebody there. there. No, nobody's there. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do. I don't know how much I'm gonna go through. But like I said, I had a bout of uh, insomnia last night and went to bed at like 6.37 ish. So I'm pretty exhausted. Apparently, there's a way to hit this without going through like that. There's a, a way to hit this uh, explosive. Also, fun fact speedrunners speedrun this game on New Game Plus, but not New Game Plus Plus. Because on New Game Plus, you can skip, like I said, you can skip the uh, bomb defusal tutorial. But apparently, on New Game Plus Plus, that is when all the characters will have like sunglasses like snake and ride and wear sunglasses but the c4 which there's a lot of c4 on the extreme difficulty is in different spots from where it's supposed to be like it's randomized differently right Kind of funny how the only reason I'm taking as long as I am is because I'm going for dog tags. I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll be able to play Ground Zeroes. This today was just a chill day, honestly. Nothing to report. Freeze. <gasps> Huh. 
this is Freeze! Huh? Don't kill me. Is it level three we gotta come back here? No, level two we gotta come back here. This is where we get a call from Deep Throat. Again, another reference to Metal Gear Solid. Gotta change render mode. The fun fact these claymores are consistent. What that means is if I pick up all these claymores right now, I will never have to worry about these claymores again. Another fun fact watching uh, speedrunners play this game the way they do the bridge to my left actually. It'd be that way i'd have to turn my head because everything's backwards in the webcam so right now i'm turning my head right but it looks like it's to your left so the this over here right see how that's like that bead runners will do this like system where they do this and they'll leave a couple of holes in the ground that they could then then do that too in the future because they have to technically go through this area twice Right, for a one time at the middle of the game, and another time later down the line. Yeah, I'll probably finish the C4 and then wrap up for the evening. In just a short two hour stream. I love how many scripted events there are in this game. Oh shit! I wonder if this is a person that I missed last time, because I'm pretty sure I missed somebody. Oh, that's right. This is how you wake up the guards. Freeze. Unless that's supposed to be where this guard comes from. Hmm. Freeze. Huh? Don't 
playing this game on the easiest difficulty. But yeah, it is kind of funny how, like, how much back and forth they have you do in these games. Just not, not just this game, but like in all the games if you really think about it. One of the few games that doesn't have you do, like, any back and forth. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 and 4. Jack, do you remember? Those, those ones, they don't let you do, like, they don't make you do any back and forth as far as I can tell. Or as far as I can remember. I might just say fuck it and try and beat this game tonight. Freeze! <gasps> that hate that with every fiber of my being freeze huh? don't kill me we have uh, about 40 seconds stopped all of a sudden weird i do find it funny that the last time i played through this game is when i realized why they always did the codec calls why they always made an excuse to use the codec because of how much money it saved them instead of having to render in uh all the bs you know I pretty much hit the money on that one. It's a little bit quicker. Yeah, it's a little bit quicker when it, uh... I think I've already gotten your tag, right, dude? Ah, uh, shit. Hmm? There's somebody there. Nope. I already got his tag because I came over here to show the little Easter egg with uh, Snake. Fuck it, I don't care. That's why you always try and save this for last. Because I thought you could go forward without Sensor B. No, you have to have Sensor B. I have the left.
Because the timer doesn't start. How's your So when you hit, here's the thing. When you hit, it gives you a little bit of extra time, basically. What I'm trying to say. Because when you inevitably hit that last C4 and you leave the area, it procs the timer, right? And then you go from there. Makes it a whole hell of a lot easier when you can go straight from where you get the sensor into the final bomb. I think that might be a dude who has a new thing. I don't care at this stage. I've pretty much held up everyone I need to hold up. And now we're going from there. When I do wrap up with this game, I am going to see, uh, I'm going to see the dog tags that I've collected. I hopefully it'll roll over and I'll be able to see them all and see which ones I've missed and stuff like that. Right. Amazing how many codecs they have that become useless. Still debating whether or not I want to stop here. I'm I am tired though. How much longer do we have in this game? After we do this, we gotta fight. We have an encounter with fortune. We fight Fat Man. After Fat Man, we have to. Get the aims, get aims, right? And aims is over here. Then we have to go all the way over here for the president. There's a fight on the one two connecting bridge. It won't let me go any further. Yeah, whatever. There's a fight on the the one two connecting bridge. Right. I thought of something to add to the Metal Gear Solid 2 abridged series. Have it to where when uh, Colonel Campbell calls you about them killing a, a hostage, just make it to where Rose is like freaking out about it and being super fucking. Like descriptive or some shit. I don't know why that's funny in my mind. It's fucking horrendous. I'll never forget. Ow! I'll never forget the first time I ever did this fight. I. I tried everything. I tried explosives. I tried switching controller ports. I tried. There's just like no way to take out Fortune. I wonder if there's a cheat that can have you kill her. Right. 
And then Fat Man directly contacting them, right? That one's a big one. Also, there was a part of me that was always like, man, I, I hated cutscene moments because when you had your SOCOM directly to the back of Fortune's head in that previous cutscene, how the hell did I not take any damage there? Anyways, when you uh, put your SOCOM like two inches away from her skull, there was always a part of me that was like, man. Freeze. If you just pulled the trigger that close, there's no way it misses, right? Like, I even, like, thought about it in very deep detail of, like, all right, so... All the explosives go dud. Like, they, they just won't go off. So on and so forth. But... The weapon has to go off, right? Well with what you know, or what you find out about. Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. I fucking pressed square, but he didn't do anything. Maybe I should press circle. Whatever. Whatever. Similar fight to. Now I'm not saying it's a similar fight. I'm saying that the layout, not the so, fight itself, the layout of the fight is similar to Raven. Focus mode of this.
did you just say a little time off from bombs? And then place a bomb? That was fun. There's also a couple of codec calls you can get where if you don't move Batman, the last like five seconds or something like that, or enough time to where, yeah, the last five seconds, so it gives you like a two second timer before the bomb goes off. Good work. You can talk to everybody and find out where the bomb is, and. Rosemary's the one that tells you where the bomb is at. All right. This the Harrier fight's pretty long. And again, you could do like spam rockets and deal with it that way. I've heard on extreme difficulty, or I saw on extreme difficulty, they actually do move where Ames is at. Biometrics. But, ironically enough, it's still easy to find him because of how I suggest you hurry. how unique Ames is as a character is, you know? Why did they have to bring the f It's always nukes. What's this for? I'm realizing that it's always fucking nukes. Okay. Believe it if I press the wrong button. See ya. Is there a way for me to drop off to the my death really easily here? What's ironic is that shouldn't be a death. You know why that shouldn't be a death? That shouldn't be a death because we're still in, on the shell, but it's not programmed like that. Oh, fuck. Deck eight cruise court. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. How's your blast of the half? 
I'm fucking tired today, man. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to continue with uh, the series in general. If not, we have this to fall back on to. Regardless, that is going to be it for me for a time being. I know it's a small one, a short one. You know, tired. So, I'd like to say for those of you that are new, if you haven't already, be sure to become a citizen today via subscribing to this channel as well as my main channel. If you're on YouTube, links will be down in the description below through all my links and streamer links where you can catch me on all of my associated sites, be it Twitch, be it, uh, yeah, Twitch, where you can follow me over there, catch me when I go live at 6 p.m. EST, EDT, every single day, at least for the year of 2022. I did say through all my links and streamer links, right? Anyways, links will be down in the description below. Twitch, uh, the community discord where you always can get the most accurate notifications of whenever i do go live if i'm going to be a little bit late to a stream or a little bit early as well as to communicate with other members of the kingdom twitter where i pretty much only ever post when i'm going live a couple of referral links to some survey sites that i use and whatever else catches your fancy exclamation point links for those same very links uh, like I said, tomorrow I hope to go a little bit longer. I'm just tired today. Couldn't get sleep last night, but hopefully tonight I'll be able to. And then tomorrow I want to be playing Ground Zeroes. If not, we'll finish up Metal Gear Solid 2 on e very easy. Regardless, that is going to be it for me for the time being. So until next time, take care. Have a good one. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.